outside now as they rock it off turn four again. It seems every time Brad Kozlowski needs it, Tyler Reddick is there to smash him in the back bumper and keep him up front. Again, by inches, Brad Kozlowski continues to lead with nine to go. Well, for a moment, it looked like Austin Sindrick was having problems. He had uh, fallen about three car lengths back of Brian Blaney. Now he gathers it back up, and he'll try to push his teammates. Two by two by two, all the way back for 20-some car lengths as they move into turn three once again. The battle for the lead, door to door, side by side, Ford versus Ford. The last few laps, it seems like Brad Keselowski is a tick faster off the exit of four. Once again, he beats Logano back to the line by just a couple of feet. I think Joey is going to need to clear him if he's going to win this race because Brad has off both two and four had the stronger car with that momentum up, the, up on top. Neither of the two cars that trail, the two leading cars, seem to be able to help enough to push one or the other out in front. Logano, the defender out in front of Logano, or out of, uh, of, of, of Keselowski, all four. Seven laps to go. Bubba Wallace drops to the apron to get out of the way. At the line, this time, it is still Keselowski. The gap, five thousandths of a second. Blaney, for a moment, looked like he was going to try to make it three wide. He stuck his nose in there, but there was nothing for him. It's Keselowski now, half car like that. Side by side, that's the way they run here at Atlanta Motor Speedway. As we get down to it. Logano on the bottom of the racetrack. Outside there is Brad Keselowski, and that's the way they'll race all four again. Six laps to go, and no one in the top six has any room to make a move. This time, Keselowski leads by a whopping half car length over Joey Logano. It's a war of wills. This time into turn one, Keselowski it gets a bit of an advantage. It looks like maybe Tyler Reddick dropped back just a bit to try to make a run. Now, this might be able to shuffle the field just a little bit, but Kozlowski is out in front by almost a car length and a half. Well, Logano backs off a little bit, maybe trying to get and save up for a run. And here he comes, bottom of the racetrack. Five laps left at Atlanta. Don't go anywhere. This one's going down to the wire. Kozlowski, Reddick now, one and two. Has Joey Logano used up his tires? He's now fallen back to the fourth position, or is he just getting ready for one final push to try to get to the front as he runs door to door with Seabell? I think that's what you're talking about, Rob. Right now, out front, Keselowski down the back stretch. Tyler Reddick right in his tire tracks. Up above there is Christopher Bell. Here comes Logano again on the bottom of the racetrack with the bottom lane. Four laps to go. Keselowski leads. Tyler Reddick rides a solid second. The battle is now for third. Actually, Christopher Bell takes third away from Logano. Here comes Denny Hamlin. Ryan Blaney gives a shot to his teammate Joey Logano, pushes him forward. He leads back around Hamlin off of turn two. You got to wonder what's going through Tyler Reddick's head right now as they race down the backstretch. Christopher Bell trying to give him a shove, runs him right up to, to the back of the leader. Here comes Keselowski once again. Logano is not done. He is dealing with it on the bottom of the racetrack. Tyler Reddick has been Brad Keselowski's friend. He is now his foe with three to go. He tries to to track Keselowski down in turn one. Fourth is Denny Hamlin as he's slightly ahead of Logano, but Logano battles back. Hamlin showing a bit of impatience with his teammate Christopher Bell, who's right in front of him. It's Keselowski out front. It's Reddick right behind him and Christopher Bell. Logano is doing everything he can at the bottom of the racetrack, but he's running out of time. What will Tyler Reddick try to do with the leader off turn four? Will the Toyotas of Christopher Bell and Tyler Reddick gang up on Brad Keselowski? Two laps to go. It's Keselowski, Reddick, Bell, and in fourth right now, Denny Hamlin. Less than half a car length advantage for Brad Keselowski. Logano doesn't look like he's got anything for the front three. Two Toyotas putting the heat on the floor. Sure looks like it's going to be a three man race here to get the win but this is far from over here comes Christopher Bell he's going to go to the bottom of the racetrack with the 20 car he'll get right to the bottom and right there he's going to try to make a move on Brad Keselowski Keselowski slams the door to the inside the white flags out Bell goes outside Keselowski makes a block again has bad Brad got another mile and a half in the tank here comes Logano he gets to the back bumper of Keselowski where did he come from and here comes Corey LaJoy he'll race his way to third Logano is racing his way out next to the wall side by side with Brad Keselowski. This is for the win as they dive into turn three. Logano is out front. Can he hold off Keselowski? This is Logano leading. Joey Logano leads off of turn four and Joey Logano will win the Ambetter Health 400 by two car links over Christopher Bell and Brad Keselowski. Joey Logano
Pagano looked like he was done for the day, comes on with a half lap to go and pulls out the win here at Atlanta Motor Speedway. Kept a card in his pocket, kept a move secret until he needed to make it. Joey Logano wins it. A heartbreaker for Brad Keselowski led this thing to the white flag and fails to end a 66 race losing drought. Last time Brad Keselowski went to victory lane, Talladega, April 2021, and it looked for a moment like he had it. But again, Logano was just saving something there he hadn't shown all day. And one of the best things about the finish of this race today, six caution flags, and at the end, they raced 46 laps without a yellow flag and without a big crash to end it up. Really good, clean, sportsmanship-type racing. Two and three wide, Doug, throughout that entire run, and they really proved just how professional they are. And now Joey Logano is burning them up. And there's two ways you want to win as a race driver, Doug. One, you lap the entire field. Or you beat him on the last lap. You beat him by inches. And that's what Joey Logano did today. Brilliant move. Logano, by the way, led this race five times for 140 of the 260 laps. That fifth time it was basically the final mile. I thought with three to go that Logano was done. He'd fallen back, lost the draft of the leader, but had a little something left in the tank, as you put it. Doing his big victory burnout here right at the start-finish line. Sunoco puts the same focus and care that goes into fuel at its stations that it does for race fuel that powers the fastest stock cars in the country. Sunoco fueling NASCAR for 24 years and right now fueling the victory burnout by Joey Logano.